This lesson is on finding the area of a rectangle. We'll start with the beginning, which is how we use a square to measure surface. So this is a rectangle. If I wanted to measure its surface, how could I do that? Hmm. Let's think. Well, one of the things I need to do is figure out what my unit of measurement is. So I am going to adopt a unit of measurement, and that's this distance. This is a length. And my question is, how long is this rectangle? So I'll use my measurement. Here's one unit, two units, three units, four units, five units, six units, seven units, eight units, nine units, ten units. I could say it's ten units long. And then what about this length? Let's see. How wide is it? One unit? Two units? Three units? Four units? Five units? Five units wide. Hmm, that helps, but maybe not so much. So now I have a rectangle with these units of measurements marked on it, which helps me see that I have 10 units long and five units wide, but I still can't quite say what the measurement of this surface is. So let's extend these units. So now I have this rectangle, which is divided into five parts. It's not enough to say that this rectangle is five. So let's continue to look at the surface and its measurement. Here's a rectangle that's divided into 10 parts. So here we can see that measurement of 10 as one of the sides of the rectangle. So it's not enough, though, to say this rectangle is 10 parts. I need a way of describing the whole surface of it. Here is a rectangle, my same rectangle, divided into 10 units along this side and five units along this side. And now when I look at it, I can see that it has square units on the rectangle. And those square units cover the whole surface. And that's what I'm going to use to describe the measurement of the surface of this rectangle. It has how many square units? Well, there are 10 units on this side and 5 units on this side. 10 taken 5 times is 50. So the measurement of this rectangle is 50 square units. How do I know that? Because the squares cover the whole surface of the rectangle. So when I'm measuring surface, I will use square units as my measurement. So remember we looked at using a square to measure the surface of a rectangle? I've made some labels to express those numbers that we established. So this side, the base of the rectangle, has a measurement of 10 units. And this side, the height of the rectangle, has a measurement of 5 units. So let's take this information and make it into an equation. 10 
times 5, or 10 taken 5 times, equals 50 square units. So we can see that the surface here, the 50 square units, that's how we got the answer. What is the measurement of this surface? So 10 represents the base, the measurement of the base of the rectangle. And I can shorten the word with the letter B. B stands for base. And 5 represents the height of the rectangle and I can represent that with the letter H. So base times height equals area of the rectangle. And this is called a formula. So if I have the base of the rectangle and I know the height of the rectangle, together they can give me the area of that rectangle. I can multiply base times height equals area. I want to show you something really interesting about this rectangle. We, we know this rectangle really well. Its area is 50 square units. But what if I turned it this way? Now the base of the rectangle is 5, and the height of the rectangle is 10. And if we use our formula, base times height equals area, what will we find out? 5 taken 10 times equals 50 square units. So whether the rectangle is oriented this way or this way, I can always find its area by multiplying those distances, base times height. And the surface is measured in square units. This is called a formula. So here's the formula. Area equals base times height, or base times height equals area. I have a, a new situation here where I have the area of this rectangle, the surface area, which is 50 square units, and I know the base of the rectangle, which is 10, but I don't know the height. So how could I find the answer to what is the height of this rectangle if I have this information? Well, let's take a quick look at the answer. What is the height? We know it's 5 from our work previously. So how can I get 5 as an answer to a problem that has 50 and 10 as its parts? So how do I find the height if I know the area and the base? Well, I need to take the area, which is 50, and divide it by the base, which is 10. And that's how I can get the answer 5. Let's look at that as a formula. The height equals the area divided by the base. Here's another formula. This one we can use to find the height of the rectangle. 